Well, good evening and thank you for tuning in to another week with the West Garfield Park Youth Council. And obviously the young people gave me an opportunity to come on the show with them tonight and to talk to this young man named Hulk. Anybody that's from the west side of Chicago should know Hawk. If you don't know Hawk, you really ain't from the west side. You're someplace else. Because Hawk is actively involved in the community and actively involved in what we can do to empower young folks. Hawk been actively involved in doing a lot in the community. And I, first, I'd like to thank you, Hawk, for all that you've been doing for the West Garfield Park Youth Council, for the Fathers Who Care. Mm -hmm. Anytime we needed some support on DJs, on music, nobody knows music like Hawk. And not only that, Hawk has been one of those individuals that since he knows people in the neighborhood and you know we have a tendency from the neighborhood we barter right because don't know, none of us have anything right, <laughs> right? so right. the little bit i got i share with him a little right. bit he got to share with me so hawk has been providing a lot of services to fathers who care and i want to tell those who may be watching the show today if you ever need someone if you need a jazz uh trio, a, a trio right. or if you need a, a solo a, a, so, a solo sax you want to you want to promote solo saxophonist yeah then then you then then you're going to get a chance to hear from Hawk. He's going to tell you who he is, what he do, and why he do it, all right? And we just want you to just hold on tonight and just chime in on what we can do to empower more young folks. Listen, I'm, I'm kind of heavy-hearted today. I'm trying to fix this, this thing over here, too, but I'm also heavy-hearted today, and I want to talk a little bit tonight, Hawk, as I dedicate this show uh, to one of our elders, my mentor, uh, our civil rights icon, um, Louis Myers. Uh, Louis Myers. Uh, 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 those who know uh, uh, the West Garfield Park Youth Council and Fathers Who Care and the West Garfield Park Community State Holders, you should know <clears throat> that we've been doing a lot of activities here. We've been doing a lot of things in the community at Chicago State, Kennedy King, and Attorney Lou Myers uh, was, was the vehicle behind all of those things that we were doing. Oh, yes. uh, he was the individual that would empower the young folks who allow us to come in and talk to young folks in the school, in the university, talk mm -hmm. to the students. And, 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 and Attorney uh, Lewis Myers uh, has been real instrumental in empowering some of our young people who wanted to go into the field of law. Yes. Or yes, criminal yes, justice yes. or wanted to be police or law enforcement or what have you. But anyway, we, we, we kind of heavy hearted this evening uh, because around this time last week, uh, our, our dear friend and brother had went home to be with the Lord, his, uh, we're talking about made his transition. Yes. Uh, and so we pray that you all will continue to keep his family lifted in prayer as we dedicate, how about that, Lou? Uh, uh, we dedicate this show to our friend. How about that? Yeah, that there you go. So again, we want to say to you, thank you again for tuning in to the West Garfield Park Youth Council. We want to put a little spin or a little twist to this show this evening in that we want to use this show uh, for a couple purposes. One, we want to use this show to continue the plight and the upliftment of uh, our young people and, and the people in the city of Chicago and why it's important for us to be actively involved in social change on the west side of Chicago. Also, we want to use this show to acknowledge our young people uh, who are out working today. Thank God they're working and they're right. doing the things that they're doing. That but we also, huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We also want to tell our young people how much we love them and we want to keep them lifted. But also, we want to use this show as a, as a, as a as a beacon tonight to acknowledge uh, our dear friend Lou Myers. So we will be referencing Attorney Lou Myers throughout the show right. because we'll be lifting him up and, and paying our due respect to him. And we will hope those that know Lou Myers will continue to keep his family, Tina and Louis Third, Louis the Third, and, and our New Mount Pilgrim Church, and all of us who who have labored in the vineyard with Louis Myers, lifted in your prayers. I mean, it's a heavy heavy, heavy uh, burden that we're carrying this week uh, in the passing or transition of our good brother. But we actually to tune in tonight. We want to thank uh, Paul uh, 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 Pearly on the line, and we got Mich uh, Michelle on the line. And look, so call in. We're talking about what can we do to engage and enlighten more people on the west side of Chicago to, come, to become more actively involved in the plight of what's going on on the west side of Chicago. Personally, I'm kind of full, to be honest with you, uh, tonight, uh, Hawk. I'm kind of full with the news media. I don't want to see another news story if I can avoid it tonight. Right, right, uh, and right. I'm so tired of hearing folk talking about Amion, uh, and it was a medication that made them turn racist. All right? Right, I mean, right. And I don't want to hear another story about somebody who's trying to quote Huda or trying to 
present false facts. False facts. Let's talk tonight about what we can do to empower these young people. What can we do to get these young folks back actively involved? What can we do to save some lives on the street? What can we do to keep our young people understanding that in order to be what you want to be in life, you got to put forth that effort. You have to do that. So I want to thank Amari. I want to thank my Shayla, who's some of our, our young our youth council leaders, uh, for giving me another opportunity to bring you out to talk with you tonight, Hawk. And we want to thank encourage you. those. Thank you, Elaine. We like you. Love you too, and I've been watching your pictures, girl. You've been been relaxing over this over these last weekends. But anyway, let's talk tonight about what we can do. The show is dedicated to empowering our young people. The show is dedicated to uh, uh, making sure that you register to vote. You say you won't change. We're getting ready to talk about change there you tonight. Go. There you if go. you if you're tired of the status quo of what's going on in and around your community in your country, I ain't picking on nobody. Right. I'm just saying, if you ain't registered to vote, go over there in that corner and sit down somewhere, all right? Right. I don't care who you vote for, that you vote. You that have you a vote. right to vote. Vote your consciousness. Vote what's better, what's, what's for the betterment of your children. Vote what's better in the betterment of your community. Vote what you think is better to bring people together. I know I do have choices, mm -hmm. and I do have my choice, and I will exercise my choice. But tonight, I just want you to know that if you're not civically involved, if you're not civically engaged, shame on you, all shame right? Shame on you. So with, with that being said, I want to tell you all this. Uh, Antonio, we love you too, my brother. Antonio is, is watching you, Hawk. Okay. How you and, doing, Antonio? Yeah, that's the that's Antonio from over there at Breakthrough. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, hey, we want to see you um, uh, uh, Wednesday, um, June the 6th, 12 o'clock at New Mount Pilgrim Church, where we'll be having our executive leadership meeting. So come on out, guys, so we can talk about what we can do in the city of Chicago, not just the west side of Chicago, right. the, city of Chicago. the city of Chicago. But with that being said, Sylvia, I see you on there. Thank you so much. But with that being said, Hawk, I want to talk to you. First, thank you again, Hawk, okay. uh, for the work that you're doing. Uh, if you choose to want to reference the organization you're with, right. please do so. I don't want to be uh, politically incorrect. Uh, and correct. Right. If you say it's okay for me to mention the organization, sure, I will. And if sure, it's okay, please do. Well, Hawk yeah, represents the West Garfield Park, or should I say the Garfield, Garfield Park, Park Community, Community, Community Council. Council. And of course, we, we all work collaboratively on the west side of Chicago, but specifically in Garfield Park right. to bring about change, what we can do to bring people together, what we can do to empower our young folks, engage our young folks, enlighten our young folks. And Hawk has been actively involved with us on doing just that. If you ever need someone who really would come out and, and really be a beacon of light and, and for some young people, and I mean do it from the heart. I ain't talking about no pavement. I ain't talking about somebody trying to stick you up. I'm telling you, someone who really has a heart for the children, yeah. you need to meet Hawk, all right? Yeah. If you really want somebody to come out there and educate the young folks in the culture of music, Right. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, need, history, the, history, you know, the history, the history, the history of music. You need to yeah. see Hawk, and so right. also we want you to know that. Uh, you're watching uh, the West Garfield Park Youth Council tonight. We want to talk about what can we do to continue to empower our young folks and save the lives of our young folks. Some of you all may be sleeping and may not be reading as much as you should be reading. But there's been a, a spike in, 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 in young folks uh, losing their lives. Yes, it has. There's been a spike in additional shootings uh, on the west side of Chicago. And, and so and that's that. with all of that comes trauma. Yes, and does. so what we're trying to do, as we've been doing, Hawk, we, we just had a, a little training with, with the University uh, uh, Rush, Rush. Rush, Rush Hospital right. and, and, and Illinois Pediatric. Illinois Pediatric, right. yes. And yes. so we've been out talking about uh, crisis intervention, trauma. Toxic stress. Toxic stress, right. fatigue, yes. compassion fatigue. So we're really trying to work together with those who would work with us uh, to bring resources to the community where we can really talk about mental health. Right. So tonight's show is going to be what can we do to empower each other. Look, I want you to know we love you. God loves you. We want to make sure that we continue to work together. Listen, we can do these things. We can do whatever we need to do to empower each other, but we can't do nothing unless we work together. Right. So with that being said, Hulk, give us a little bit about you. Who are you, Hawk, and what motivates you to do what you do in the community? And, and first of all, just tell us, Hawk, why are you so passionate about the work you do? And I love the cap. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, the reason I'm passionate about my work, I'm a community organizer for Garfield Park Community Council. Mm -hmm. I've been doing that for the last, let's say, four and a half years. Mm -hmm. I worked uh, 36 years at UPS and retired. I, was able, I started young, so I was able to, to retire early. And I wanted to find a way that I could give something mm -hmm. back to my community. I grew up in Garfield Park, and... Uh, 
when I was born, my mom always tells me we live, we've lived on Washington Boulevard. Washington and what? Washington and Sacramento. When you're I from was the neighborhood born. for real, then? Yes, for sure. And we lived 2946 Washington, 3007 Washington, 3222 Washington. And, uh, then you know the King Center. Oh, I know the King Center. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Quite familiar. Then you know Henry Hornet. Hornet. I still remember when the riots, <laughs> yeah. when the riots, when the sky was burning, you know, yeah. my mom wouldn't let us go outside, but we could see the fire from uh, from Washington where yeah. all the businesses on Madison was burning. So tell us why you're passionate, though, about this work, though. Because Mo. I grew up in the community, and I, it was a great place. I have fond memories of, of, of growing up in Garfield Park and my dad dropping us off in Garfield Park. Yeah, on a Saturday morning and picking us up when he got off work and we never it was never a dull moment It was well, never a dull used, moment. We used to play. I mean, they, they doing some of this stuff now in yeah. Garfield Park When we really used to play ball. Oh, uh, man Park. baseball was well, our first love. My I, mean, I mean, we really was playing we, we ball. really played ball. <laughs> yeah. We played ball you know? All day. And that, that was that was yeah. a, that was a guy older guy in our neighborhood name by the name of EG I don't know what EG stood for but anyway EG he had a 65 Chevy and he come around, and anybody that wanted to play baseball, he'd open his trunk. He had a trunk full of bats, balls, and gloves. And we put together a team and say, "Hey, we're gonna go out here. We're gonna practice a little bit, and we're gonna play Forbes in the street." And uh, you talking about some fun, man? It was just fun. And we'd uh, pack up in a '65 Chevy and go over to Jackson, so, so hard, that's to the baseball it. diamonds. And it was a great place to grow up. It was safe. Mm -hmm. So you that's know, what we wanted it was to talk beautiful. about. Hulk. We want to we want to bring some of that flavor back. Right, right. So what we've right. been trying to talk to people, and, and I'm, I'm gonna come back at you, and you can finish on, on, okay. on, 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 on uh, giving us a little bio on you. Mm -hmm. But I, I really want you to kind of kind of relax and just have fun with this. And I want you to get specific okay. uh, when you're talking to folks. I don't want folks to think that everything that's happening in the community is 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 negative because there's some good things going on some in, great in, things. in Garfield Park great and things. some good people in Garfield some great Park people. Yes, and is. Garfield Park has a history of empowering each other. Right. I, I was telling some folks a while back, Hawk, that you know, you know, some, we need some after school activities for the young people. Right. And when I say after school activities, I'm, I'm talking about not just an opportunity to throw some music on and let the kids get out there right. and juke up. Right. All right. I'm, I'm talking about arts and crafts. I'm talking about skating. I'm, I'm talking about bowling. I'm talking about, you know, when we was doing the drum and bugle right. course. I'm talking Definitely. about when we was competing against each other. I'm talking that kind of stuff. When young right. folks was able to, to, to kind of find, find that niche. And don't forget, yeah. don't forget reading and yeah, going, reading. and going to the library, and because it's you know it's always people in the neighborhood who are would be considered nerds at school, but these are the guys that are that are kind of square. Yeah. But right now, these guys are running running states and and doing very big things in their own community. So, what are you implying when you say reading? What are I you say saying? read. Well, I was always taught. Uh, I went to Lane Tech High School. And uh, graduated from Northeastern Illinois, Northeastern Illinois University on Bryn, on Bryn Mawr. So right? I went to that. Oh, my man. <laughs> yes. 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 Right, right on. And uh, yeah. I stayed there eight years, though. It took me eight years to graduate. North St. Louis. North St. Louis. Louis. Bryn Mawr. Right next to Channel 11. Yeah. Another public radio station. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was great. You know, I was in a jazz band, so we traveled to Europe, you know, uh, every year. Every year with the concert band, we do a, a nationwide tour. Mm -hmm. I love to travel, so... You so know, you really have a heart for this work. I really do have a heart for so this work. So that's because I know chase. if you if you don't get out of the community, I was so fortunate, man. I, I've had, just by playing my saxophone. My father died when I was ten. God bless him, and so I started playing the saxophone because um, I grew up right across from Martin Luther King, which was the Midwest Boys Club there, right there on Sacramento, on Sacramento, Washington. Mm -hmm. So they had a drum and bugle corps over there that would compete against us. Yeah, and they practiced <laughs> they, off the street, man, and they yeah. practice. Yeah, they yeah. practice, yeah. and man, I could just be on the fence, just saying, "Wow, look at those shiny horns," you know. And it was just I something actually, about the I music. Used to play the trumpet. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh okay. My I love brother the used to play the drums. That's a beautiful thing. And then we had this little band. Right, right, All right. right. You remember yeah. back in the day, you do we had sounds. to have a band. We in had the, the band. We, we had, had to the be band. in the band. We had the band. Y'all wasn't as hot as the band I was in. I don't know about that, bro. That, my band. I, I mean, I don't know about that because I know we traveled all over there. And, we and, did and, too. And, and anybody that we encountered, right. we left them in the dust. Yeah, that's the way we did. <laughs> but you must have come too far, too far deep into the hood. We was oh. at Henry Hornet all the time. Bro. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and if okay. you was anything, you had to be at Henry Hornet. What was the name of this band? Which one? Your band. 
Man, I forgot the name of that. You forgot the name? Wait, that yeah, I forgot, right the, I forgot the name but of that. Anyway, name we used, to, we, used to sing, we used to sing all them 70s songs yeah, man, over there at the Street Club, uh, man. And you had to have horns in your band, man. Absolutely. You had we to did. have horns. And I forgot the, the name of that stuff, though, man. Well, the name of my band was Love, Peace, and Happiness. LPH. Yeah, but well, that's all. Everybody was into the love thing. Oh, we was loving yeah. the peace and love back then. But then let's let's go up here. So, Because I'm not going to hold that against you because we beat you so much, all right? Oh, you didn't beat us. We were like sliding the family stone on the We were like Ohio players. Yeah, All right? We were like 21st. Century. Ohio players was my favorite. That's, I'm trying to tell you the yeah. real deal, brother. All right. I'm telling you, we was out there on them. All okay, right. Okay. But anyway, Hulk, let's listen. We want to talk to these young folks about see how how we can reminisce. Yeah, man. That's, we that's can talk a, about 30, 40 years yeah. ago and how we can yeah. sit back and talk about and they bring joy to our bring hearts. Joy, how come man. we can't bring those kind of resources back to these young folks? And let these young folks understand that they ain't got to literally go out there and sell themselves out right. and get caught up on anything that's just 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 to, you know just to take up some time. Right. But 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 if they would apply themselves to some real structure, you know, right, 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 you know, go right. to, like you say, go, get caught up in the library, right. get, become read, a, read, read uh, uh, if you want if you want to be actively involved in right. something, pick up some sticks and, and right. play the drum, play the, drum. Or play the horn. Or, right. I mean, literally, right? Oh yeah. What, what, what's what, what's missing? What's happening that our young folks are so lazy and so selfish and only want somebody to do some for them, but they don't want to put forth the effort? What's going on? Well, I think it's the era that we're in. Yeah. You know, they, you know, they, most kids. I was uh, had the opportunity to teach at the University of Chicago, Carter G. Woodson Charter School. You know, right after I retired, and I'm a secondary ed major, but I was forced uh, helping a buddy out. I taught sixth and seventh graders, and. Everyone had an iPhone. I think I was the only person at school who didn't carry an iPhone. And you probably had a Blackberry. And I had guys in my class in 6th and 7th grade with iPhones that really couldn't read. And here I am trying to teach these kids music, and they got these iPhones, and they got these hoverboards, and they talk about what they got for Christmas and all this shit. And I'm saying, man, your grades are, you're failing. You know, how can your parents just... I allow you to play on the apply, iPhone. I'll play, I'll give you an iPhone and here you can't, you can't, you're not passing and you're already a year behind. So that, that really bothered me. It really bothered me. And I well, really... you know, we're still suffering from that stigma or that, 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 that problem now. Yes. When young folks, they, they got the, they got the iPhone 10s, I think that's what's out yeah, there. Yeah, 10s yeah. or 11s or something like that. Yeah. And these young folks have, have phones that cost eight, nine, a thousand dollars. Right. I have a grandson who's who refused to buy a phone until he could get the best phone. He mm -hmm. didn't even. And my grandson's twenty-one years old, and uh, his name is Tyreek, by the way. Hey, Joy. And uh, Joy, how you doing, Joy? Yeah, Joy. And uh, he this would not have a Samsung phone or any LG or anything like that. He had to wait. You know, until he, but he worked and saved his money up and bought the iPhone 10. That's what he wanted. That's what he got. Let's go to it. See, back in the 70s, we yeah. didn't have that type of technology. Yeah. You know, we had pages. We had that pages came later after the 70s. <laughs> you know, you know? We had the pages, and they were very important. Pages yeah. was a hot yeah. item. That was what's you know? that was what's going on. That was going on. Yeah, we had, other than that, we used to use the. Where pay are phones. the pages now? What do you think? What do you think they still going? have some around. Yeah, but, still have some. But, but, and I'm, and they they're probably them. in the Smithsonian. Yeah, right? yeah, but but no, yeah. no, it's doctors and stuff still use them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they should. They yeah, should. doctors still use pages, right. and some 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 attorneys I know still use pages. Well, when I was working with UPS, everybody had a page. Yeah. You know, I never had to buy one. Because they made sure we had one, and then you could get free batteries. You had to have that pager, man. So tell me, Hulk. Yes. What can we do to get more young people or more pe people from the community more civically engaged? What can we do, and why should they be? Well, <laughs> we're talking about you, those who are watching. We're talking about you, Vern. We're talking about you, Joy. We're talking about you, Elaine, and we're talking about you who are watching. Give us a call here, three one two seven three eight ten sixty. Uh, three one two seven three eight ten sixty. We got my main man, Hawk, and we got the young folks producing this show. We're talking about what can we do to get more folks in the city of Chicago more actively involved in what's going on in the community. And we're going to talk about voters' registration. Is that important, Hulk? That's very Let's important. Let's get this call, and then you come back and tell us okay. why is voter, regis voter registration important. Okay. Call it you on the air. You'll come in and question, please. We got Hulk with us. We got Joe on the line. We got Vern on the line. We got all of them good people on the line. What's your comment, please? My, I have a, um, a comment. My comment is, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you, and thank you for okay. calling. Yes, my, my comment is... Um, I think uh, one of the ways we can uh, kind of, you know, um, get the youth more involved um, 
in the community is by reaching out to them, finding things for them to do. Our youth do not have much to do anymore like they did back you. in the day. You know, I mean, I'm seriously speaking, our youth don't have a lot to do. There's not a lot out here like it used to be, you know, the way you all are reminiscing. Back in the day, there was so much for our that. youth to do. Yeah. And now there's not a lot for our youth to do. And if there's something for them to do, then there's danger in, in the areas where they're trying to do something. So hey, sister, listen, don't hang up on us. We want you to stay on the line, and we want you to know uh, there may not be as many uh, uh, opportunities or organizations that they used to be when we yeah. were coming up. Because when we were coming up, we had folks like you, myself, and Hulk, who who was our mentors in the neighborhood. Right. They used to live next door. Right. All right. They was right. next door, but then they was also involved in the, in, in, in the drum and bugle court. Right. Like you was talking about the brother, right. like the OC and all of them guys, man, used to walk around with the, with, the, with with all the equipment in the trunk yeah. of their cars. Yeah. And yeah. when they run up on a lot of us in the neighborhood or they see us hanging out, they would come get us and take us straight to a park. Right, take so, us straight to the so, park. So what I'm saying is we, we can't put or, or, or we can't hold someone else accountable for, for empowering our children and getting our children actively involved, I think it's our right. job. What you it think? Is, I think it's our job as well. Like I, I agree right. with the caller that we must motivate the kids. Yeah. If you are fortunate to have kids, teenagers at home, I think it's important to talk to those kids and, and motivate them. And take their phones away. Take their phones yeah. away. If they're not getting good grades in school, then, you know, challenge them. Take their phones away first and then challenge them. Challenge them to read a book about Malcolm X, about Martin Luther King, about Muhammad Ali. Challenge them to go beyond the books that they read and reach for other books, the obscure books that teach about black history. Because you cannot know where you're going until you find out where you come from. So go ahead, sister. Tell us what you're feeling. I, I, I totally agree. I agree with what the both of you are, all are saying. And at the same time, I still say that we have to come up with a way to reach our youth. You know, they're being reached by the wrong crowd, by the wrong people, you know, and that's the attention that they're getting because, you know, so many of us are shying away from trying to reach out to these youth because we kind of find them to be a lost cause. You no, know, we don't think, I don't, I don't so think much. we believe, uh, folks believe that the young folks are a lost cause. I just folks, I think folks are believing right now that it's too dangerous right now it's to right. deal with some of these young folks right. because right now these young folks, what, what these young folks care about pulling out a pistol and, and shooting you or, or, or creating all kind of havoc in your life is for fun, nothing. Right? They for do it fun. for fun. I see some young folks. And record it on their phone. And record it on their phone. Right. Or what, they, what they care about being exposed or exposing each other. Right. They don't even care. I see young folks right now that go out here in order for them to join an organization they go out here and kill folks right right but see the reason people do that i think our youth do that because they don't know themselves they haven't been taught their worth exactly. and they first must know yeah. themselves and yeah. the only way you're going to find out who you are is through reading books about your history so but look in a time on the wall hawk is telling us that it's that time i mean it's been a stone gas listen i want to thank you sister, you for calling in. thank you so much uh, for continue, calling. To, continue to support the west garfield park youth council fathers who care and the uh, community state holders i want to thank garfield all of park you and, Gar council. and garfield park community council and right. these young folk i want to thank mike thanks mike for what you do to help so many young people amari Shayla, sylvia Australia, I guess I said that name right. I hope I did. And listen, all of you all who's tuning in, who's on Facebook, OC, OJ, we see you. Listen, God bless you. God keep you. Listen, continue to do the good work to empower those who are less fortunate. And remember, if it, if it is to be, it must begin with me. There you go. So we got to do something to help these young folks, because if we don't help the young folks, right. don't complain about the young folks, all right? All right? Continue to do what you can to be a blessing to someone else. God bless you. We'll see you next week. And listen, we got a few events coming up. Get in touch with Fathers Who Care. Get in touch with the West Garfield Park Youth Council. We got a, a social media piece going on. We got mental health events coming on. We got uh, Fathers uh, Men's Health Fair coming up. Yeah. So listen, get in touch with us, 773-287-5821, or log in to fatherswhocare.us. God bless you. Good night. Keep the faith, and we'll see you on the other side. And you keep doing the good work that you're doing, and we'll see you when we see you. God bless you.